Hey you guys and welcome to my channel, Bienvenidos. I wanted to bring you guys a very sultry and sexy, simple date night slash a girl's night makeup look. And I also included the hair because I got a lot of people say that they, well, a lot of people complimenting my hair when I posted this photo on my Instagram and then I got a few DMs as well saying that you guys want a tutorial and so I'm gonna do it all in one video and I'm also going to include some music at the end of this. There are bloopers but I'm also gonna put like a little playlist down below in case you want to play it you know on Valentine's Day whether you're gonna be with your boo, whether you're gonna be home sipping some wine by yourself, eating some chocolate covered strawberry, whatever you're gonna be doing on that day if you just feel like getting in the vibe I'm gonna put a little like sexy vibe playlist down below but I hope you guys are excited for this video and let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with my complexion for today and I'm using the foundation that, well, most of the products I'm using in this video I showed in my Ulta haul. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation in shade 2.3. It is a little light on me, so I'm gonna go back and get a different shade, but I kind of make it work for this video. And at this very moment, I realized I forgot to use the primer that I really wanted to use, but I'll just use it in another video. And then for bronzing my skin, I used the Pure Cosmetics Foundation Stick in the shade Dark. I really did like the way that this formula felt on my skin and I especially love the color. It's more on the warm and orange side, which I gravitate towards. I love a nice warm base. And so I'm using that to just kind of add more color back into my skin, especially since my foundation was more on the light side. I also use that to kind of carve out my nose, which I normally don't do, but I did like the way that that turned out as well. And then for my under eyes, I used my e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camo Concealer. They have a hydrating one and they have the like super matte 16 hour wear. The hydrating one is honestly just as good as far as coverage. It's just not as intensely matte, which is good because it's nice and blendable. Honestly, they're both good. If you have dry skin and you're looking for a good full coverage, long lasting concealer, then you can try this one. For setting that in place, I'm using my Huda Beauty Powder in Pound Cake. I wanna say that's the name. It's like a nice light translucent shade and I'm using that to set my under eyes and really to set all over my face. I was sent this Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette, and I'm using this brown shade as kind of like an eyeliner. I'm gonna end up smudging it out and smoking it out in a little bit, but I like how warm and really, really brown it is, so I'm just kind of using that as the base. And then I go in with a blending brush and really messily smoke it out. Now that I'm sitting here, I feel like I did a look just like this last year I'm just doing like I feel like I do a new version of this look every year for Valentine's Day I don't know maybe this is only my second year but I'm almost positive I did it look like this anywho I normally don't leave this part in but I was like let me just leave it in I'm filling in my brows using my benefit precisely my brow pencil in shade 3.75 I do also want to get another shade in this one just so it looks a little better with my darker hair but so far it's been working for me To clean up my brows, I used the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in Light Beige. It's nice and full coverage, but it's a little light, so it kind of highlights, you know? And then for bronzing, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Badge and Gal. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm using that with an Equal Tools brush and kind of putting it everywhere. Again, this palette right here is from Too Faced, and I was also sent this in PR. I used 
the tan one in this the highlight at least just to add a little bit of glow and then moving on to blush i used this one from kylie cosmetics called let's go shopping i didn't think it was gonna come up on my skin tone but it did and it's a really nice pink peachy color which i was honestly surprised i'm glad that it did come up on my skin tone and that it looks this nice because on in the pan it looks really really light Now moving on to my hair. So this hairstyle is honestly so easy, yet I got so many requests to do a tutorial. So with my hair, I just take the kind of like bottom layer and I pin that up so that my extensions blend a lot better. I hate when my hair kind of peeks through the extensions from the bottom, so I always pin that up as much as I can. And then I lay my extensions or the first track of my extensions on that. Uh, once I put my extensions in, first off, you can see there's a curl already in my extensions from the last time I used them. And I used, I want to say, a one and a half inch curling wand, one inch or one and a half. And then I just put my extensions in my hair. I don't mess with the curls or anything like that. And all I do is I take my curling iron, which I will have a link down below. All I do is take that and add curls here and there so that they're more on the messy side. I mainly do this though to blend my natural hair with the extensions, but I try not to mess with the curls too much. That way it gives it more of that messy look. I just love the way that looks, but I'm gonna finish up my hair and show you a different way that I wore on my Instagram, but I'm just putting on my lip color right now. This is a retro matte liquid lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. The shade will be down below in the description box. And then, okay, for the hair, again, very simple. I just take a clip. You can use a clip or you can use bobby pins. It's up to you. My hair's on the thicker side, so a clip works better. And I just take one of these and I grab the two little sections right by my ear and I pull those back. I put the clip there and that is it. I do not apply hairspray or product or anything like that. If you need to, you can. It's the same hairstyle, but kind of switched up a little bit and it adds more of a like sexy novella Teresa kind of vibe to your look. I love it. I think it looks very feminine. Again, very uh, sultry and effortless still. But um, that's really it for the entire look. I hope you enjoyed this video and whether or not you're celebrating Valentine's Day, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. Los quiero mucho. And I'll see you all in my next video. This is like the ultimate vibe. Let that mirror show you what you're doing. Feels so good to me. Don't let a lot of people in, but you get admission. Caught up on your ex still, I could get you past it. You cannot tell me this is not a Valentine's Day song. Hit it, hit it. Know you're freaking and you wanna taste it. Yeah, I fucking feel you, mean I feel you fucking. Ooh, you shocked me. Mm-hmm. Gave you a kiss shot. Mm-hmm.